Okay. The key of G, we're going to make our G chord starting on the bottom string, first string, third fret, second string, second fret, third string, fifth fret. This is our G chord. If you can reach with your pinky all the way to the seventh fret, you have a nice full G sound. We can worry about that later, but that, that's the full G. The C is moving everything straight up. Middle finger goes to the second string. Index finger goes to the third string. Ring finger goes to the fourth string. And that makes a C chord. Okay, we take that same formation and slide it two frets towards the body. And we have a D chord. And the three of those chords together, G, C, and D, make up the key of G. So get a little practice would be to practice putting those together. G, C, D, G. Okay. The key of A is going to be the same formation. Slid two frets towards the body. Coming up the neck, two frets. And there's our A chord. There again, if I want to add the pinky for a nice full sound, that's our A chord. Then we move that straight up. And we have our D chord again. And then two frets towards the body, and we have an E chord. Put those together, we have the A, <clears throat> the D, and the E, which make up the key of A. Okay, key of B, we're going to again slide two frets towards the body. We have our B chord. And the B chord. Then we move straight up for the E chord. We slide two frets forward again to the F sharp chord. All these are out of the same formation. But notice how it gets tighter as we go up the neck there. The frets get closer together. So there's our F sharp chord and then back to our B chord. B, E, F sharp. A, D, E, A. G, C. There's key of G, key of A, key of B.